All right, I just wanted to record a quick tutorial uh, showing Comp Buddy with a few different examples. Uh, in particular, here, I want to show I'm giving Edge Blur to this 3D render. So, as we see here, um, I can zoom in. And this is a 3D render I made in Cinema 4D. And you can see it's got, you know, pretty hard, crisp uh, edges there, um, you know, from the 3D render, as you would expect. So, I'm going to add some Edge Blur to that. I have my uh, rat layer selected go ahead and hit the edge blur. And just like that, I got some edge blur. Um, let's go ahead and uh, do some additional settings here to kind of exaggerate it. Let's go ahead and increase the edge width to like negative two, maybe for the alpha do like 0.35. And maybe for the blur, we'll do like five or six pixels. We'll do like six pixels. Okay. Um, so now, you just pay attention, um, you know, to the edges here. Of course, we are zoomed in 200% as well. But if I turn off edge blur, you can see that clearly um, there's some blur going on now on the edge. Kind of softens the edge a little bit. Um, you know, maybe this is a little bit too much, but we could always drop this back down to three, actually, because of some of those other settings we did in the edge alpha layer. Um, and I would say that is looking pretty good. Can zoom in a little bit closer here and look at the ear there. You can see the edge blur. Okay, cool. Yep, that worked and that looks pretty nice. Um, so let's look at um, just one more other example here. I'm just going to close this project. Uh, and this kind of requires a little extra setting here, um, typically to get right. But I'm just going to do uh, text. So we'll just look at um, giving edge blur to like a shape layer or text or something like that. And um, for now, we can just turn that off. Um, I could go into, I'm going to make a little uh, background here. Let's just grab a little color. Okay, we'll just name that background. All right, and then now let's grab a text layer and just create some text. Blur. Uh, we can go ahead and make this um, a lot bigger. Why not? So we can really make sure that we see um, what's happening here with the edge blur. Okay. Something like that is probably good. We can always zoom in a little bit. Okay. Uh, I could even scale it up from here as well if I wanted to a little bit more. Okay. We'll just kind of focus on that. Make this full resolution can see our uh, our text layer here, focusing on the L. Uh, got comp buddy loaded, so let's hit the edge blur button here. Okay, and then if I zoom in, um, you can see a little bit of an edge blur happening, um, but it's not it's not quite right. Um, so let's do a couple of things. One, we can come down to the edge width and just increase this. Um, but I'll still show you that it's not going to be quite right yet. We got to add one more little setting here. And then maybe we'll increase this blur to like seven pixels. Um, so look what happens. Um, you can actually see the blur edge blur is working quite nicely here. Um, that's working right. But if I look over here, I'm not getting any edge blur. So there's just one little setting when you're using text layers or shape layers um, inside of After Effects. You just want to make sure on this edge alpha layer here to um, turn on this radius uh, effect I have here. So turn that on. And then now you will absolutely see the edge blur um, on, on all the edges here, as we'd expect. Maybe we'll bring that down to like five pixels for a second. And then we are zoomed in, of course, 200%. Now, if I turn that on and off, you can see how this layer is getting the edge blur all around. That's all good. You can zoom out a little bit here, right? And you can see it. Um, and I can even look over here, right? This is part of the B. Um, so if we look at that, you can see edge blur is happening there as well. So that uh, is nice, like so. All right, and I hope you found that useful. Thanks.